So, you want to earn money while you sleep. Have the freedom to do what you want, when you want, where you want, buy what you want. I'm with you, and I'm here to tell you that it is 100% possible. Just maybe not how you might think. The problem is there's tons of BS on the internet on the topic of passive income from influencers like these. And I want you to be armed and educated about the realistic ways to earn passive income for yourself, to fast track your path to 5K a month or 10K a month or 100K a month or whatever it is that you want for yourself. So in this video, we're going to share the five most dangerous passive income myths that are keeping you from achieving the lifestyle that you want. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, who am I to tell you about a topic like this? My name is Brendan Dell, and I'm the owner of a seven-figure, one-person writing business. And right now, I earn about 19K a month in what I would consider to be passive income. But getting there wasn't without challenges. And if you're anything like me, you've spent years chasing shiny objects, looking at one trend or business idea after the next, and you just end up feeling overwhelmed and no closer to your goals. Maybe you've heard about stuff like courses or real estate or stocks or affiliate marketing, digital products, and on and on. And you feel like you're not sure what's one is for you, which is real, which is BS, or where to start. And in this video, we're gonna solve all that for you. It's pretty simple. I've tried all this. I know exactly what works, what doesn't, and what it actually looks like under the hood. I own real estate, have courses, have affiliate deals, I have a seven-figure freelance business, working with some of the largest tech brands in the world, but truthfully, those are just the highlights. I've tried way more things that never worked. Beyond this, I know what you're thinking. Just because some of this might work for you, it doesn't mean that it's gonna work for me. Agreed, we are all unique. I also have the pleasure of having a community of over 500 solopreneurs pursuing their own financial freedom and I get to see up close what actually works for the many and not just for me. A secret which I'm going to share at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's go through the five dangerous passive income myths that are keeping you from reaching your financial goals. For each, we'll talk about the myth, the reality, and then give you actionable advice that you can actually implement to fast track your path to 5K a month, 10K a month, 100K per month, whatever your number is. And if you stick around till the end, I'm gonna share with you my single best source of passive income and the first one that I would look to create if I were just starting out on my journey. I've seen dozens of members of my community do exactly this to build six, mid six, and even seven figure reasonably passive income streams, and it can work for anyone. Quick note that you wanna get all the information in this video, not just cherry pick so that you can actually learn what works and get the money coming in. So if you wanna fast track this, just watch the video on 2X speed rather than skipping around if you're pressed for time. So with that, let's get into dangerous myth number one. And this is that passive income exists at all. If we're gonna to talk together about passive income, the first thing we need to do is to define passive income. So what is passive income? Motley Fool defines passive income as money that you earn with little to no effort. With all the BS on the internet, you might think something like, if I can just figure out the right business, I know, you know, affiliate marketing or flicks and flip real estate or AI trading or whatever, I'm not gonna have to work anymore. Just go, you know, put my feet up on the beach and take a nap and whatever. Well, here's the deal with this. There is no free lunch. This is a basic tenet of economics. And what do I mean by no free lunch? Anyone saying that you can simply make money without doing anything is selling something. It's just the truth. Passive income requires one of two things. One, capital, which means you earn some kind of interest or return on money you've already earned. Keyword, already earned, so that you've worked for, bled for, etc. Or assets, things that you either buy or create up front and that, that delivers a return to you over time. Products, YouTube, you know, whatever. So the myth, passive income exists at all. Reality, there is no passive income. There is only leveraged income, meaning you get a leveraged return on your time or capital. And I mean leverage here in the simplest sense of the word, meaning using something to its maximum advantage, right? Picture a lever, right? You can move bigger loads with a longer lever. So what's the big lesson here? Don't be discouraged. There are so many ways to build wealth and leverage income. I am an endless optimist. So I will share with you what actually works so you can find your path at the end. But before we get there, let's look at some of the passive income schemes that are touted by top influencers and share with you the myth and the reality and then the big actionable lessons 
so you can move forward, get to your goals. And remember at the end, I'm gonna share with you the secret that unlocked passive income for me and how it will be an unlock for you as well. So dangerous myth number two is that courses are passive. So let's say you are looking for a way to create a product once and then earn money forever. This is the promise of courses. And I wanna start by saying that courses can be a wonderful source of income. I make about 10K a month right now selling my own course, The Freelance Formula. And I support people exploring this niche. And this is because leveraged income is key for wealth creation. You have to find some way to detach your time from money, otherwise you're always gonna be working for what you earned. The thing is that it doesn't work the way that a lot of gurus might say. So let's just take a beat here to look at this quick video clip from Iman Godsey. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. Apologies on that. Well, Skillshare actually fixes both of those issues. Skillshare gives you the eyeballs so you don't need to be a wizard at ads or organic marketing. And you also don't need to worry about refunds because people don't actually pay you for the course. Skillshare is actually the one that pays you. So very similar to sort of like a Spotify model where, you know, uh, the people of Skillshare pay a certain amount per month. And then you as the creator get paid based on the amount of views and the amount of time that people watch your course. He recommends posting your courses on Skillshare to make it easy to acquire students. The hard part of the course, right? So let's say that you have a, a skill that you wanna share with others. I don't know, copywriting, doesn't matter what it is. So the promise here is that all you're gonna do is bang together some videos, post it on Skillshare, boom, they send you eyeballs, you know, buy your course, money rains from the heavens and whatever. The reality of this is of course, very, very different. So as of this writing, there are 34,000 courses on Skillshare. Just pause on that, 34,000. And there are 54 pages of courses just on creative writing. Thinking that they will send you traffic is akin to saying something like, every day people search Google for courses on animation. Well, of course, factually, yes, they do, but they're not going to find you. In any of these platforms, there's going to be a handful of top courses that are going to get all the traffic. The bottom percentage, the new folks, will get almost nothing. Now, I am not telling you not to make courses. They're awesome once you get them going, but they are absolutely leveraged, not passive. The reality is you have to learn to do your own marketing. So our myth for this is that courses are passive. Reality, courses are leveraged and actually very active. The big lesson, start stacking the skills that you're gonna need to build a successful online business, which is advertising, audience building, offer creation, marketing, copywriting, and so forth. This is not the first place that I would start. There is another step which I would take first to fast track your path to bigger income, and we'll talk about that more at the end. Next, dangerous myth number three. Stocks and real estate are passive. All right, so making a course sounds like a lot of work and you're thinking, screw all that. I just want something that's gonna pay me without having to learn new skills. I would love that too. So maybe you think, maybe I should just get into real estate. I just need to build up my stock and real estate portfolio and then every month money will hit the bank. Just like Mark Tilbury says in this video. Let's say you buy a share in a company and it goes up in value. Technically, you've generated some money without doing anything, but in order to actually get your cash out, you have to sell your stock. Now the point here isn't to pick on Mark. His information is awesome. My point is simply this. Stocks and real estate can be a wonderful source of passive income, but first you actually have to understand what kinds of stocks and real estate create passive income. And beyond that, you need to understand how much money you're gonna need to make it work for you. It's my assumption with most of these videos that many of you are at the beginning stages of your journey or in the middle stages of your journey. So you're trying to figure out how to get the ball rolling. Let's start with the myth. Real estate and stocks are passive. Reality, stocks and real estate are absolutely leveraged. You need the capital first. And within that, there's really only two kinds of truly passive stocks and real estate. On stocks, it's dividend stocks, and with real estate, it's triple net properties. Dividends, meaning with stocks, that public companies will pay out a percentage of their profits to shareholders on a regular basis. So something like Starbucks, you're gonna buy a Starbucks stock, and every month they're gonna pay you, I think, it's like two, two and a half percent right now or something on your stock, 2.6 maybe. And triple net, meaning these are usually retail properties, it's a lease type where the tenant basically pays all the expenses of the building, including the maintenance. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out and you're gonna buy like a Home Depot or a Taco Bell. I actually think a lot of Starbucks are triple net as well. And basically once you buy that, you have a long-term lease in place and they basically deal with everything and you just get a check 
every month. Now, if you actually dig under the hood and look at this, which I have, what you find out is that no matter if you actually pursue triple net real estate or dividend stocks, or even something slightly less passive, which is what I own, apartment buildings, you're gonna need to make a lot of money to make meaningful income from real estate. So let's say your goal is something like to earn 5K a month from your investments. Well, here's some simple math, just very rough numbers for the purposes of this video. You're gonna need something like a million dollars invested, unleveraged, to earn that 5,000 in pre-tax money. And then by the way, you're still gonna pay income tax on the dividends and the money you earn from the tenants, like the rent you actually collect. That 5% number that I'm using here is honestly pretty generous. If you look at most gen dividend stocks, you're at like a two to four percent dividend, right? Starbucks that we talked about is 2.65, uh, I think. Cap rates are usually somewhere between five and a half and seven percent. They've been higher and they've been lower, but on triple net, they're usually lower because you're buying a very passive investment, right? So that's priced into the asset. So what's the big actionable takeaway here from all this information? Start by building active income. What you want is freedom, right? Our goal of all this is freedom. So you need to pursue active income first because that's gonna give you the big number that's gonna then let you buy quality stocks and real estate and pay, play the long-term game with your investments. So sum up this section. One, myth. Real estate is passive. The reality, real estate is leveraged. And my big lesson here, real estate investing is all about quality. And so you wanna grow your active income first. Stocks as well, right? It's all about owning quality stocks over long periods of time. This is what Warren Buffett does. So grow your active income first. You don't have to be that smart with investing then, you just hold great stuff over time. Dangerous myth four, digital hustles are passive. So next I wanna talk about a broad category here, which is this notion of digital hustles. And I'll include in this things like YouTube videos, content, affiliate marketing, eBooks, etc. I could really put courses under here also, but I found that in Mount Godsey video and I just had to call that out because I thought it was important. So the big lesson here is that digital hustles can be lucrative, but passive they are not. So like you, I've seen all these videos where they're promising like, you know, just start an affiliate program and all you're gonna do is you're gonna sign up for Amazon and you're gonna get a link and you just post it on the internet and then you get a percentage of the sales. Here's the deal with all these businesses. You're basically looking at attention businesses and funnel optimization businesses. You have to figure out how to get eyeballs on a thing and then a certain number of those eyeballs are gonna filter down and become customers. You need to learn copywriting, you need to learn how to grab attention, hold attention, monetize attention, and it's anything but passive. Now, remember this, Hollywood has been trying to crack the code on how to grab and hold eyeballs for like 150 years. And the best shows in the world, in the world, with the smartest, most talented people ever, teams, hundreds of people working on them, with millions and millions of dollars, maybe they last 10 seasons, right? That said, you should get into these businesses, they're awesome, just don't think about them as passive. So the myth, digital hustles are passive. Reality, they are leveraged businesses, meaning once you scale them up over long periods of time, like these YouTube videos will pay me, and it's gonna be huge amounts of repetition in order to get that income stream coming in. So my takeaway for you is to pursue these as active income, but not first. Don't start here because the runway is so long to start earning money. Trust me, I've done all this, built it successfully, it takes a while. So what would I do? Here's dangerous lesson five. Consulting and freelancing isn't passive. So we've talked about a few things now that don't work. Let's talk about one that does. This is something that you've been told isn't passive income. Before I dive in, I wanna start by saying upfront, I do sell a course called The Freelance Formula, I am biased, so take that into account when you're listening to me. But it's also 100% what I believe, it's what I do, it's what 500 and some odd of folks in my community are doing. And here's the deal. So let's say you have a skill that you're currently selling on the side, and it could be anything. Management, consulting, design, copywriting, whatever. It, it, I mean, anything will work. Dog walking would work. And by the way, if you don't have a skill, use a course from my partners at Course Careers to learn something lucrative first. Like get into a real industry. You don't need a four-year degree necessarily. Like just stack skills. And we have a link in the bio for this. 
Use my affiliate link, don't use it, I don't care. Learn a skill that you can sell. It's the foundation of your career. And now here's the dangerous myth. Consulting or freelancing isn't passive because you have to spend your time to earn money. So what have we been talking about this whole time? The reality is that all income takes a certain amount of time to produce an input. The reality of consulting and freelancing is that value pricing and productizing your services, meaning packaging them in a very certain way, means it is leveraged income when done properly. I earn seven figures a year in my writing business, and I honestly don't even think I'm that good of a writer. And I don't work crazy hours. I still have time to sit here and make these YouTube videos and courses, and I have two kids, and I run marathons, and I still sleep eight hours a night, and you know, have a nice life. So what can you do? I focused on monetizing my skills first, building my active income, capitalizing on my unique competitive advantages, because we all have them, and then reinvested and expanded my ecosystem as I went. And by the way, there are hundreds of students in my course and community doing exactly this and finding huge success. My fundamental argument is everyone needs a base professional skill as the underpinning of their professional foundation. So I would use this skill and the stories and the results that I created with it, right, as a jumping off point for courses. I only sell the freelance formula because I built the business and I can teach others. I did positioning, I taught that course, then I taught the freelance formula, and then I created content. And all the while, I'm buying stocks in real estate that allow everything to compound. And by the way, freelancing and consulting or advising is not the only way to do this. I just think it's the simplest and also all the online gurus did exactly this. Alex Hormozzi started with sales consulting. Jocko Willink started with leadership consulting. Jason Freed, who's one of the founders of Basecamp, I see this with software founders all the time, started with website development, freelancing, and on and on and on. So what can you do today? Like right now, as soon as you finish this video. Beyond investing in my course, which I very much believe in, simply start networking. One of the key rules that I teach is meet with two people per week that have the budget, authority, and need to buy what you sell. Listen to their problems, propose solutions. You will be amazed at how far it will take you. So summing it up, one, there is no passive income. There is only leveraged income. Anyone saying anything else is selling something. Two, many of the hustles you've heard about on passive, but can be very lucrative. And three, build your active income first. Use some kind of core skill as the base of your professional foundation and then pursue more complicated endeavors as you go on, like courses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing, like, all the rest of the stuff, and I will see you in the next one.